Ashley Madison, an online dating service that encourages cheating, claims to have over 12 million members. A new ad released by the pro-adultery dating site suggests that men who have overweight wives or partners are justified to cheat on their spouses. The new ad sparked controversy, causing many to wonder, is it okay to cheat on your spouse if they gain weight? I would never cheat on my spouse for any reason, especially just because of some silly shallow reason like he's getting fat. If the person that I'm with isn't really doing it for me anymore because they've kind of they've gotten fat or ugly or just not taking care of themselves, I'm gonna go find someone that I am attracted to. You know, I think we're all a little bit disturbed by this. We, in fact, have on Polycom the CEO of Ashley Madison, Noel Biderman. So, Noel, you know, the one thing that we would ask you is, doesn't this ad offend a lot of people? The fact that you're basically saying, okay, if someone's overweight, then you should cheat on them? This is a story I've heard time immemorial. It is true. Sometimes you wake up beside your partner and you don't even recognize them. And I think it is a statement about how you feel about your true relationship and yourself. I, I don't know that there's anything wrong with this ad. Yep. Oh, there's but, total oh, wrong with this ad. Is, it's uh, offensive to women, completely offensive to women, first of all. Yeah. Absolutely. To say that one person's more beautiful than another just because of weight and size is absolutely offensive. Uh, when you sign up to marry someone, you're looking at a lifelong commitment. If they're not going to be there because they're not willing to take care of themselves from a health perspective, they don't care enough to feel... If they, what happens if your them. partner gets <laughs> sick? What happens if your partner gets injured? Are you going to just sick. toss them away because they're no good anymore? I mean, that's that's is, ridiculous. Is, is that goes about, beyond the bounds of what love is about. If my ad allows someone to take a look inward and rededicate themselves to being healthier and recommit to the relationship, then I've succeeded. I've succeeded in saving a marriage. I think you can stick your head in the sand and pretend that somehow a, lo a loss of physical attraction doesn't lead people to stray. But if you actually want to address causation, it is a major cause of it. Well, I think, no. where, I think where you're a little off base there is that you're basically trying to send a message that if your spouse puts on weight, push this person over a bridge and just go cheat on them, yeah. That's not the answer. And also All we, you're going to do mm -hmm. there we is... We push weight because of health, not because of appearances. But you're judging her solely, solely, solely based on appearance. And that's absolutely wrong. And I, it I is, made, it is sex made, discrimination. It's weight discrimination. No because you didn't use her. men in the ad at all. No you only attacked women. And you're only addressing I men no and saying about, men should leave no their wives because they're not... And that's where we're going to agree to disagree, because the easy way out isn't just to cheat on your spouse. You're, right. The, the maybe more difficult thing to do is to, to try to address these issues mm -hmm. head on, whether it's medical, emotional, whatever it may be. Noel, we obviously appreciate you coming on the show and giving us your point of view. And uh, I don't want to... Thanks for having me, guys. All right, right take thanks. care.